What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to be taking a look at a custom made cage from Kane TV for your GH4. Now this is not your run of the mill, one size fits all that you can pick up from Amazon or eBay for under 100 bucks. This one runs upwards of $300 depending on some of the accessories that you get, but I think it is well, well worth it with the build quality of this. I've had it for about a week or two now and it has been fantastic. So we'll get into some of the accessories that I have on it, some of the features that it has. And here you see the wood handles that are an add-on accessory and you need to pay a little bit more for them. But I think if you're looking to do any kind of handheld work, they're a must have. And they just attach with two thumb screws on each side. You don't, the way it's constructed, you don't have to worry about losing those screws. So just a huge, huge thing. And it's super, super comfortable. I wish I could really explain how comfortable it is and how overall lightweight the whole cage itself is and then over here underneath where that one was on the left hand side you have a locking mechanism for your HDMI cable again just a thumb screw so that's great I love having just the thumb screw options across the board on this so then you look on the opposite side of that and you have access to the door for the SD card, so that's not an issue. And then again, back to the HDMI side, you have access to your microphone, your headphone. I mean, everything's wide open right there. So I actually tuck all the protection doors back into the cage when I actually mount the camera to the cage. And here you can see underneath. Now, another thing that you have if you don't get a cage made for a GH4 uh, which I've had that experience. I've actually had to machine out the bottom of a cage in the past to have access to the door so I didn't have to take the camera on and off all the time just to change a battery. This one is not a problem. As you can see, you can take the battery out easily and open and close the door with no problems. So then looking across the top, there's all kinds of mounting options. There's some on the handle, there's some on the sides. You also have the spot where you can put your neck strap actually to the cage. So you can take the handle off or you can leave it on and have more options for mounting. What, three mountings uh, on each side, quarter 20s, three more on the top, three three eighths on the top, and then another cold shoe with a quarter 20 in the center of it. So to me, I like leaving it on there. One, it gives me more options for handheld video. And then the other one is it gives me a more mounting positions for different devices or different things I'm going to use. That's where I put my uh, wireless pack receiver up top, which I'll show you later on the video when I put everything back onto my rig. And then at the bottom you have this riser feature. So I have my Manfrotto plate underneath the feature and then the cage has the built-in quick plate underneath it that slides in from the side onto the riser and it actually has a, a bolt in there to stop it from sliding straight out. And again, another thumb screw so you don't have to worry about having any type of tools. Underneath that in the actual riser mechanism, you have a spot for two 15 millimeter rods. Now I ordered these rods and the handles. Those were the extras that I ordered from Kame TV. Um, and they're not very expensive. I'll leave links to Kame TV and to all these products down in the description below. But this gives you some versatility depending on what you're using using for your rig. So you can see right from the side there, you could put a follow focus or your lens support or anything right onto these 15 millimeter bars and it makes it super, super versatile. So I just wanted to have those just in case one day I wanted to get another follow focus or do something like that. So here we'll put on everything that I use. I use an Aperture V2 monitor and then I just run the HDMI cable around, plug it in, and then I'm gonna put my Sennheiser receiver pack, like I said, on the front, which I can't wait to get my AVX system so I don't have the little antenna sticking down. But then I'll wrap it around and then plug it into the side and then everything's nice and clean and tight. And this is my normal rig for my 1GH4, which I'm filming with my other one, but this is what this one looks like 99% of the time. And it's usually on top of my Manfrotto tripod. But if I want to grab it to do handheld work, uh, I've been really impressed with this. The biggest benefit that I see for this cage is that it's all one solid piece. I've had some in the past that were multiple pieces and I had a hard time with those because they didn't quite fit together right and the screws would come loose and things like that. Or I had an oversized one that would fit any camera and it just didn't feel right for the GH4. So that's going to be about it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Hit me with a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you've yet to subscribe, make sure you slap that subscribe button down below. And uh, that's it. Peace.